again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 27th of January, 2019. Article posted on Daily Wire, written by Amanda Prestigiamo, that's P-R-E-S-T-I-G-I-A-C-O-M-O. -E Title, Catholics demand Cuomo be excommunicated after signing horrifying abortion till birth bill. Catholics are demanding Governor Randall Cuomo be excommunicated from the church after the Democrats signed and celebrated a horrifying bill that allows abortion up to the moment of birth in New York, loosens restrictions on who performs abortions, and wipes the fatal procedure from the state's criminal code. Catholic bishops of New York State released the statement ripping Cuomo and pro-abortion lawmakers over the euphemistical named Reproductive Health Act and stop short of calling for excommunication. Too many prominent Catholics, the statement was not enough. As noted by Life News, Monsignor Charles Pope, writing at the National Catholic Register, said it was a lie to suggest Cuomo is in good standing with the Church. Quote, it's time to end the charade, even the lie that Andrew Cuomo and others like him are Catholics in good standing, Pope wrote, adding that the bishop's statement was not enough. Caconical penalties are due to the governor and other Catholics who voted for this legislation, continued Pope. This is necessary both for the common good, to avoid the scandal of tolerance of evil, and a strong summons to the governor and others to repent before the day of judgment. At this point, conical penalties for bidding him to receive Holy Communion, or even if possible issuing a formal excommunication, are simply affirming what is already true and what he himself has done, he added. To fail to issue all possible conical penalties at this point would, to my mind, show the Church to be irrelevant and a laughing stock. Prominent Catholic figures and Daily Wire's owner Matt Walsh was more blunt in his approach, asking Cardinal Timothy Doyle if he was going to excommunicate Cuomo, if it didn't interfere with his initiatives to the cocktail parties, his invitations to the cocktail parties. Hi, Cardinal Dolan, the governor of your state is an alleged Catholic. He just legalized the murder of fully developed infants. Are you going to excommunicate him as is your obligation, or you are going to concentrate with making sure you still get invitations to the cocktail parties, wrote Walsh. Why are these cardinals going to cocktail parties? They don't drink, do they? Agreeing with Walsh, journalist and professor Dr. Taylor Marshall said Cardinal Dolan needs to excommunicate these murderous Catholics in accord with scriptures and the current canon law. Likewise, editor of First Things magazine, Matthew Schmidt, said excommunication of Kumum from the church was in order. If we Catholics really believe what we saw when we talk about heaven, hell, and the dignity of the unborn, Cardinal Dolan should, after exhausting all means of correction, communicate, excommunicate Andrew Cuomo, said Schmidt via Twitter. I want to remind Cardinal Dolan that part of the purpose of excommunication is to remind a member of the church that he risks damnation unless he repents, Stephen Herod, Catholic Vote Managing Editor of Host of the Stephen Herod Show, told Daily Wire. But if Cardinal Dolan refuses to excommunicate Andrew Cuomo, Dolan's soul will be in more danger than Cuomo's. At least faithful cardinals have the comfort of that little justice. Celebrating death as a victory is the antheists of our Catholic face and a mockery of the great gift of life bestowed on us by loving Creator, Enrica said. But that exactly what Andrew Cuomo did this week when he signed the RHA, the Cuomo actions are a public scandal to the Catholic faith and a reminder that we as individual faithful Catholics cannot be complacent or silent in the face of evil. 
If Andrew Kuma remains a Catholic in good standing after signing this abortion bill, said Catholic voters Thomas Peters, then the church institutional witness to life simply has zero teeth and the U.S. bishops have completely abdicated their responsibility as shepherds of souls. No other way to square it, folks. Pro-life website Life News started a petition on Friday calling for the excommunication of Kuma from the church. The petition can be accessed here. All right, take a look at this photograph of this guy. He looks evil as hell. There's an embedded video you might want to take a look at as well. It's time that the church assume their responsibility and excommunicate these dirtbags, which would include Nancy Pelosi. That's sort of what I think. And any one of the other left-wing, whacked-out Democrats that support this kind of horrific slaughter of the unborn. The link will be attached. Thanks for listening.